All righty then, hand me your watch. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? That was a gift! My watch! Now, one moment. Ah! It wasn't me. I swear. I sold that Yours? thing. Yours? <laughs> yeah, it's clear you broke another watch and hid mine in your sleeve there. <laughs> And now, the fine art of hypnosis. I need a volunteer. Me, me, oh, oh, me, me. Listen to my voice. Nothing but my voice. <laughs> this is a carrot. A succulent carrot. And now you're lost. In the woods, you're scared. <laughs> now you're walking on burning hot sand. <laughs> now tell him he's a bird. I see him fly. You're a bird. In flight. <laughs> Not possible. It's some kind of trick. He's on some kind of wire, right? Admit it, it's just one of your fake tricks. Uh, it really isn't. It's so beautiful. Um, do you remember flying? No, but for some reason I've got this horrible toothache. Well, yeah, you were chewing on a bucket pretty hard. But you don't remember anything at all? Nope, nothing at all. Hmm. Do you remember which muscle groups you were using to fly? I'm telling you, I don't remember anything. Huh? Hmm. Fly, Wally! Uh, fly! Uh, um, uh, uh, but I'm not hypnotized. Crash was hypnotized. I'm all the hypnosis you need. Fly! Uh, uh, <laughs> What are you doing down there? Why? Please try one more time. I've already tried once. You're not susceptible to hypnosis. Some people are susceptible, some people aren't. You're one of the ones who aren't. Is that so hard to understand? But I am susceptible, super susceptible. I'm so susceptible that if you keep insisting I'm not susceptible, I'll stop being susceptible. Come on, just one more time. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> See, it worked. You ordered me to go away, and I went. Now just order me to fly. What a pain in the beak. Try to hypnotize me. Maybe I'm a perceptic bull. And just don't make me do anything stupid, all right? Hmm. And now you will dust all the shelves and the piano. I'm actually glad I'm not susceptible. I can just imagine the things you'd have me do. Oh, give me a break. He's happy, you're happy. <laughs> you are very happy. Are you ever going to make him fly? Right after he fixes my roof. <laughs> All right, you've exploited him enough. Let him fly. He's earned it. Come down. That's just not right. You <clears throat> promised. Fly. <laughs> and you wanted him to take off from the roof. <laughs> So, it didn't work then? <laughs> no. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't work the whole time. Because bears and rabbits can't fly. Crash was on a wire or something. He fooled all of us. Uh, your place looks really nice and clean. That's some impressive housekeeping. <laughs> hmm. Oh, where are you? <laughs> <laughs>
Get down! Get down! He got up. He's looking for something. Picked up a cone. A pine cone. Ah. Hmm. Relevant? Um, no. Now he's running. He's about to take off. Come on. Now he's just messing with us. Uh, it's a pity that you don't remember anything. Flying probably feels amazing, but I know there's no point asking about it. Even if I could remember, what could I say? Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Or no, it was too cold and windy. It's one thing to fly, but talking about it is a whole other matter. Let's just play ball instead. If I could fly, I would remember every second. I'd take notes and study them, and I wouldn't rest until I figured out how I flew and then taught everyone else to fly, too. I can't teach you how to fly, Chico. Got it! I understood! It was mass hypnosis! <laughs> it was a mass hypnosis! <laughs> Carlin didn't hit the ties crash that night, but us! So we would think we saw a crash fly! It was all an illusion! Hey, don't be ridiculous! I know who I hypnotized and who I didn't! Then you were hypnotized like the rest of us. <laughs> Crash must have hypnotized you. He must be some secret master of hypnosis, you see? But Daco, he's not susceptible to hypnosis, but he saw it too! <laughs> so I see he's getting sleepy. Help us, Daco, or Daco. You're only hope. One witness isn't enough. We will recreate the experiment and videotape it all. Daco! If you are unsusceptible to hypnotism and you aren't working with Crash, you'll unhypnotize us the second that Crash takes off. And how precisely am I supposed to unhypnotize you? Cold water. And if that doesn't work, I suggest the time honored technique of smacking faces. Thanks, Finn. We're rolling. You're getting sleepy, very sleepy. Listen to my voice. Nothing but my voice. He's under. Go on. Order him to fly. Yeah, make him fly. Hmm. Fly. Hmm. Nabbit, that water's freezing. Are you nuts? <laughs> look at, look at that. Smack my rack. <laughs> Just take a look at that. Looky, wow, can you see this? He's flapping his eight wings wings. Oh, run it back. And again, he's off. I've never seen such a flight. <laughs> it's some kind of special effect. Probably some of that CGI stuff. Am I right? Yep. Yeah. Hey, anybody? Get me down from here. Oh, cool, my kite! 